going on everyone? Back with another episode of Stuff and Things. We are going to continue this Vertex bag series and we still got a lot left. In the last video, I asked you which of the next three categories you wanted to see first, and it was a close competition between the new larger backpacks in their gamut line, like this checkpoint right here, or the new 2.0 slings. As you can tell by the title of the video, the slings won, so today we are going to be looking at the Vertex Transit bag, as well as their commuter sling. Also in their sling line, they have the Commuter XL, which is basically just like a size up from this, and a lot of the features across all three of these bags are the same, they're just sized differently. Basically, people are going to be picking these bags depending on which type of weapon they carry with them. Or maybe you're not even using these for anything like that. Maybe you're just carrying it around as a work bag. So you have the Transit as the smallest and then you can bump up to the Commuter or the Commuter XL if you want something a little bit larger. For the most part today, we're going to be focusing on the Commuter bag. This is right in the middle. Like I said, these all have relatively the same features and I think this one is the easiest to show you guys what changes have actually been made to this new 2.0 line. Now before we get into this bag, if you wanna check out the video from last week when I went over the smaller backpacks, you can check out this link right up here in the corner. Also at any time, if you see something that you like here in the video, you think that this bag might be a good fit for you and what you do, then you can check out Vertex's website down in the description below and you can use code TALENTSI at checkout for 25% off any product that they offer. Not only are you saving a bunch of money on some kick-ass gear, but you are also helping support the channel when you do use my code, so thanks for the support. Now what is new in the new 2.0 line? What has actually changed? Let me actually grab an old bag to show you. Here is a gray version of the previous model. You guys have probably seen this on the channel before if you are not new here. Now much like the revisions on the EDC Ready Pack, one thing that you may notice right up front is that there are no logos on this new bag. This thing doesn't really scream Vertex all that loud. It just has a little logo right down here and then of course on the back panel. But just like on the previous 2.0s that we checked out, they did completely debadge this thing. You do get the new 2.0 zipper pulls and they are a little bit smoother than they were in the past. So you got the Vertex logo on there as well as on the new back panel. They went from that mesh design to this molded pattern here. There you can see the Vertex logo. And this is actually very comfortable. It's like a gel type of material. The actual sling strap on here is pretty much the same. You have a lot of attachment points for whatever you might want to put on here. You still have this little Velcro attachment, which is nice for keys. And then you have a couple different strap options at the bottom here. So this is how the bag rides when it is on my body. If you are used to sling bags, this one is very comfortable. However, if you are not that used to it and you are used to a two strap system, then chances are this might take a little bit to get used to. If you are wearing this thing all day, one thing that does come in handy is this extra strap along the side here. If you bring this across and buckle it in the front it sort of takes a lot of weight off of your shoulder it just distributes that weight a little bit more evenly all around you so now you have three points of contact and then if you do want to sling this thing around to the front you simply just unbuckle that there's also another buckle on the front here if you need to get out of this bag in a hurry simply unbuckle that and this thing will fall free now one of the main reasons for a sling bag like this is obviously the accessibility to it so if I simply grab this handle on the side here Swing it around to the front, now I have everything accessible right here, right in front of me. The reason why a bag like this is cool is because this is natural, you're doing everything in front of you. You are driving right up front, you are texting right up front, you're reading right here, and you're also doing things like reloads right here in front of your face. So this is definitely the type of bag that you want if you are very into off-body carry. This is much more convenient than a traditional backpack for this reason alone, and let's get inside of this thing now. So right in the front here you will notice that this thing still splits down the middle and there is also some material in here which allows this front compartment to pack out a little bit. Now a sling bag like this is definitely going to pack out a lot differently than say a two strap backpack like the EDC pack from last week. But there is still a lot of versatility going on here and you can still put a lot of stuff in here. One thing on the front that they still left in the 2.0 is this awesome grab handle. I'm a huge fan of that and it makes it super easy getting it in and out of a car. Now if I grab this tab in the front here and pull down you have access to the molly in the front. This whole flap here also has G hooks that you can connect to the outside of the bag here. So if you are really looking to maximize the space on this bag, you can simply clip these on like so, and then you could put something like a bike helmet or a rain jacket or anything else in here. The zippers on this compartment also snap in at the top underneath this grab handle here, so that way you have a little bit of extra added security. You have some Velcro on the front here so you can put some patches or whatever you see fit. And then there's also this hidden compartment on the bottom right here. 
There you can see the inside of the bag is that nice tan material so you can see if anything is in there. This would be good for when you're traveling if you have any important documents like say a passport or maybe some money that you don't want people to have access to very easily. And then also if you have this thing all the way down here and you open up that concealed compartment, you can simply slip this flap in the front here, the Velcro Velcros down on that outside portion there, and you could run the bag just like this if you wanted to. You could mount a holster there, you could put knives, flashlights, or whatever you have in your pockets on these panels. There's a lot of different flexibility with these bags. Now I'll clean up these G hooks and we will get into the second pouch. Now as I open this second pouch here, you will notice a very important design of these sling bags, and that is that these pockets do not open all the way. That way, once I do have stuff in here, like you see right now, as I'm standing up, this thing almost acts like a pocket. There is webbing on the side here, and the way the pocket is cut, it doesn't allow it to flap all the way open, that way you can have access to everything in here without it spilling out. So this is basically like the admin portion of the bag in here. I'm not currently running this bag like this, but I did throw some things in here for an example. Here I have a mini IFAC for when I'm out on the range, also a tourniquet, and there's another tourniquet and some other stuff inside of here. As you can see, there is a strap right here, which you can unbuckle. This does fit a 15 inch laptop. And then on the outside of this flap here, some of the newer features on the 2.0 is you get that new American made Velcro. You have a zipper pouch here with a lanyard on the inside and then you have a bunch of places to put pens, lights, or whatever else you have. One thing to note on the Transit is that it is not quite big enough inside of this pouch to hold a 15 inch MacBook or laptop, but it is big enough to hold something like a 12 inch iPad. I think you could probably fit about a 13, maybe even a 14 inch laptop in here. But when I try to fit my 15 inch here, the bag is just a little bit too small. So if you're thinking about running this thing with a laptop in it, keep that in mind that the commuter will fit a bigger laptop. Now moving on to the final compartment and where they made one of the most needed improvements ever. This is of course where you have the rapid access tab. You can sling this thing around from behind to in front of you, rip this thing open, and then you have access to whatever you are carrying inside of here. In this case, I have my Glock 17 FS MOS, Trigicon RMR, Surefire X300 Ultra, and I'm running this in a QVO secondary with one of their Velcro adapter panels. And then on this side, I also have some of the Vertex attachment loops. You can put a magazine, a light, or anything else that you see fit right in there. the most notable changes from the original to the 2.0 is how much they actually expanded this back weapon compartment. On the original here, you can see it is very slim. You just have the regular grab handle on the side here. This compartment is basically completely flat. It is just two pieces held together with a zipper. This works fine and all. I've used it quite a bit, but this system is much better. As you can see here with the new and improved grab handle on here, they've beefed this up a little bit and this entire section sort of expands out now. I would say you have a solid like two inches or so of extra material on here. And what that allows you to do is carry a wider weapon in here. One thing that I personally didn't like when carrying a gun like this in the smaller transit is that it kind of bulks out a little bit. When you're carrying that thing on your back for a while with a wide weapon in here like this, you notice that after a while. Especially when you're sitting down, it kind of feels like a bulge. If you don't have a whole lot in here, then it's not as noticeable, but this is definitely a huge improvement over the first one. You will also notice that this one does not fall open either because they have now added a extra hook on the inside. If I pop this thing open, I can actually pull this thing all the way down. Here you see the little clip that they have added and that is super important, especially if you are running some kind of armor in here like this. This is a Safe Life Defense backpack panel. I can simply slide this thing in here. Velcro keeps it nice and secure. 
and it does go relatively unnoticed. This is one of those things that you just kind of throw in the backpack that you carry around with you all the time. You just put it in there and forget about it and hopefully you never have to use something like that. Another thing on the 2.0 up here, you will notice that there is a little single point sling attachment. It may not be as useful on the commuter, but if you are bumping up to a commuter XL and maybe you're running something like a folding 10 and a half inch AR-15, you can put your sling on here that way when you have this thing up on your chest and you are up and about moving around. If for some reason you need to drop that weapon or put it to your side, you can simply let it go and it's not gonna fall off of your body. One more thing to note is that all of the weapon compartments on all of the new Vertex bags are lockable. You do have two little eyelets here so you could slip a lock through there if you needed to. And then the commuter sling like this, it still has that compartment in the back here which you can put your arm through. And it may seem kind of superhero-like but this actually turns into a ballistic shield if you have that panel inside of there. If you end up slinging this thing around, getting access to your firearm, and you actually have this thing out and you are actively using it, you can simply drop that strap off your shoulder, run your arm through here, and now you have basically a shield. So those are some of the main features that Vertex has added to their 2.0 sling line. If you guys have any questions at all, let me know in the comments down below. They offer these in a bunch of different colors. I am obviously going with the all black everything. But if you see something that you like here, check out their site. Don't forget to use code TOWNSI at checkout for 25% off your order. There's some good savings there. And maybe you will find something that you like. Now next up in this Vertex series, we will be taking a look at the new Gamut 2.0, the Gamut Checkpoint. I think a lot of you guys are going to like this bag a lot. And then one that I'm very excited to actually test out real world use is the Gamut Checkpoint. This thing is huge. I'm actually going to be packing this thing up right now and taking it out to Las Vegas with me for about a week. It's gonna be the only bag that I'm taking, just carrying it onto a plane. And yeah, we will see how this thing actually performs in a real world situation. That's all that I got for now. So like I said, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. And if you are new to the channel, consider clicking subscribe. I make new videos every week and there's a lot more content on the way. As always, thank you all for watching and I will talk to you in the next one.